to La Jolla, California, and today's episode is all about fine painting. Enjoy the show. Welcome to the Ricardo Del California show. I am here today with my distinguished guest, Patrick Hamilton. Patrick, welcome. Thanks. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing <laughs> sir. I met Patrick here in La Jolla Cove, gosh, it must be at least five, six years ago, I oh, think. Oh, God, yep. And I need, wanted to have a picture of Hawaii, and the Hawaiian Hilton Village, and the Hawaiian lions, landscape, and Diamond Head, and he commissioned a painting that is in one of my guest rooms, and as a matter of fact, going with the family to Hawaii, and we're going to that hotel. Patrick, I am curious, you've been painting for many years, sir, what has inspired you to get into the world of painting? Well, I've always painted, but what's different is La Jolla. La Jolla's been a place where I always spent time just to have fun. And then, I don't know when it was, 15 years ago, maybe? Okay, so you started painting here in La Jolla 15 years ago? Somewhere, uh, 2009, okay. I think it was. Okay. I came here just to get away, just as a place to paint. And I didn't realize it would be a place I would actually do business. And the second day I was here, people started asking about originals, and I sold a bunch of originals, and I've been here ever since. That's 15 years ago. Since then, he has now a website, and the name of your website is? Patrick Hamilton Artist. Okay. Fine painting. What kind of paint are we, are we using? Acrylic? Are we using oil? Oil. Oil. Okay. How did you first get into painting? How old were you back then? Oh, she's 35 years ago. I was an adult, 33 maybe. Yeah. yeah. What were you doing prior to being a painter? Uh, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Always been an entrepreneur. Yeah. Yes. And you have now really specialized in scenic painting, although you do all types of painting, animals, you do human beings as yeah, well. Yeah, I actually started off 33 years ago doing bodybuilders. I did uh, detailed pencil drawings of bodybuilders, and from there I did animals, and scenes were the last thing I did, and now it was my main thing. And being here in La Jolla, this is probably one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. We are specifically... La Jolla Cove, thereabouts. People come here and they see these beautiful scenes and you're here just to give them something to take home with them. That's actually one of the most beautiful things is that people come here and they go, oh, I'd like to have something to take home and they get one of my paintings or puzzles or paint by numbers and yeah, it's a fun thing. And one of the great things about Patrick is you can contact him and he can create Almost anything. Yeah. Right? I could be anything. And you you have customers, I believe, in the United States. Around all over the world. world. Yeah. Right. People come to La Jolla from all around the world, so I'm very lucky that I'm here because I have customers around the world. As far as, you know, starting painting, it started from sketches, right, mm -hmm. of yep. bodybuilders. Yep. If we could go back a little bit in time, artists, I don't care if it's Rembrandt, who, who are some artist painters that have kind of inspired you or to get into this well, industry? Well, Le Leonardo da Vinci I totally love, but people I like... I think I've heard of him. Yeah. People like, actually, the modern-day masters are people like Norman Rockwell. Ah. He, so he, I saw his originals, I don't know. 10, 20 years ago, right, and he inspired me even more. I seeing the originals in person is a big deal, and I spent two nights going to his shows, and I think that really was a major impact though, for me. Okay, yeah, I mean Norm, Norman Walkerow really has that Americana, right? You know, yeah. at the, at the dinner table or at the the doctor's office, just showing, uh, you know, just the American lifestyle in motion, but uh, you're getting a still of it, and. I love his Christmas stuff, yeah. uh, but I think the most famous one, I think, is at the Thanksgiving table. Yeah, that's it. I, I saw that original when I was in town, and his triple self-portrait was very inspirational. Triple self-portrait? Yeah, he's leaning over, painting himself, and there's a shot of him, his painting, and the, the mirror, I think he was looking at, but it's a good one. I think you have one like that of yourself. Oh, I've, done, I've done my version of that, and that was dedicated to Norman Rockwell. Yeah, yeah the inspiration of yeah, it all. Yeah. Uh, now, do you come down here... And you've had multiple paintings that you've painted. Now, you usually are set up right here, right across the street from Casa de Mignano. Yep. This is a lovely retirement community. So if you want to come down here on a Saturday, do you come Sundays? I'm here just about any day of the week. Okay. And obviously on his website, if you want to contact him, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, there's, there's emails. And what Okay, we're going to look through some of the collections, and these here are, what size are these, sir? This is an 8x10 that I normally sell here for $40. This is 
The original version of this, the original for this is 20 by 24, and this is a reproduction of it. But that's La Jolla Cove, and there's... <laughs> My wife calls them uh, penguins. <laughs> ah, pelicans. Pelicans flying over a wave. My swimming buddies, the dolphin <laughs> sharks. Yes, we got the great whites. This is just yep. called Wipeout Beach. Some waves from Wipeout Beach. Another one. This is the wedding bowl. The wedding bowl. The wedding bowl is just about yeah, not even a quarter of a mile. It's a grassy little area that you can go get married. It's incredible if you want to have that kind of scenery. You need to get your permit from the county. Wait, can we come back to that one? Loving the sunset. These are all pictures of La Jolla Cove. Yeah, this, this is, is right here, spot. right about beach. Right. It's a beautiful spot. This is the children's pool and Shell Beach. And the children's beach, that is where seals is. Which are friends? They are my <laughs> friends. They are my friends. Here are the seals, the California sea lions, and that is an actual natural preserve. And then, uh, the sure. there you go. shores. <laughs> okay, we're going to go look at a few more pictures. So one of the new things that we've done with our business is that People have asked me how I've done my paintings, and I say it's very much like a paint-by-number. I will sketch an outline of the scene, and then I'll fill it out. So this is a paint-by-number that I'm working on. To, to I want to complete the paint-by-number so people get the idea of what it looks like. But right. you can see this is the children's pool, which is just down the street here. That's what it looks like. And then we have another friend of mine. Yeah, right. Incredible. And this is another print. And what do these go for? This is uh, 11 by 14. This is $80. $80. And, and I have originals here. This is an original. It's me and my wife. <laughs> That's right. The lions. Husband and wife. So, do you ever paint at the zoo? Yeah, that's from the Wild Elmo Park. Yeah. Okay. And here again from the zoo is a giraffe. Giraffe. That size is? Uh, these ones are usually about 500. 500. And then this is a bearded orchid, I believe. A bearded orchid. So the puzzles, this is an example of the children's pool. This is taken from one of my paintings. Right. And I sell the puzzles here also. Those are 25. I think what's really great is how versatile the products he has here. You could put together one via puzzle. Yeah, you can paint your own. Pin. Or you can have an original. Or a print. So, I mean, it's kind of a one-stop shop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it, it really is a one-stop shop. So, as far as going and, and, and being able to develop where you are today, this might be a bit of a difficult question. This is 15 years of painting. To get to this level and this this detail, you know, from the rocks to the splat, the, really the water droplets. I mean, some of the paintings have extreme detail. They're really gorgeous. How many... If we could go by paintings, I mean, we, how many thousands of paintings are we in? I have no idea. That's a good question. I've, I've painted at least a thousand, maybe two thousand paintings or more. And it, there is an evolution. I started off with a relatively simple background for a portrait I would do. Like if someone commissioned me to do a portrait of them and their wife at the wedding bowl, I would do them and their wife. It would be a lot of detail of the, the faces and the background would be somewhat faded and not a lot of detail. Right. And then being in La Jolla for a while, I started to realize that the seascapes themselves are a hot item, and so I started to do paintings that just included the seascapes, and all of a sudden now I'm into that world, and that world is becoming more detailed and realistic. Right. People, landscapes, flowers, the, fla the fauna and the flora, if you will. I'm, I'm always curious about the inspiration. I mean, you could paint really anything, what keeps you coming back to this location? Well, I, I like the idea of being in one beautiful spot and getting to know it, and people know where I am. So when people are looking for me, they are, I'm in the same spot. So I think that's probably the main reason I do it. And I like routine. I like having it, this is my spot. Yeah. So rather than finding a new spot and setting up and having everything be different, I like coming to one spot. So I've been roughly in this spot for, I don't know, seven or eight years. Seven or eight years. So. There's also something I was kind of curious about is when if somebody wants to know how, learn how to paint, right? I mean, obviously, we have the paint by numbers. A lot of people want to be able to go get into a hobby, but they're a little overwhelmed because, you know, you know hey, I, I can do stick figures or, you know, I might be able to generally draw a flower, but I really don't have the skill set, and it seems really hard. 
what would you say to somebody who wants to really get into painting, but well, they're overwhelmed by it? Right, right. I, I normally recommend that people learn online. Go to YouTube, and there's really good teachers. Michael James Smith is one of them who teaches from beginning to end how he does his paintings. His style is very similar to mine. But what I will be doing in the future, depending on when this comes out, I'll be doing workshops online. So I'll be at my studio at home or here with a camera on my palette and on the easel, and I'll show people how to go from beginning to end doing a painting. And with the technology, it's, it's better than Zoom, but it's a type of technology with Zoom where someone could have a camera at home on their painting, and I could have 20 students online, and I could guide them through their painting. And that's, I think, the future of... Uh, yeah, teaching. yeah. I mean, I mean, we of course we all know Bob Ross, but this is this this is beyond Bob Ross because yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. just not watching Netflix. It's an interactive yeah, yeah. from the comfort of your own home where you really can go and say, "All right, like, hey Patrick, I'm stuck. How do I paint this?" Piece? Yeah, and, and I would love to have a, a if, for example, if I was wanting to improve, I would have the best art teacher in the world do that so that I could learn. And I would ask them all kinds of things. What color should I use here? How do I get more depth? If this is coming too far forward, how do I knock it back? And those are the things that having a master teacher uh, in your presence, in this case online, yes. can help you with that. And I think it's invaluable. Now, another thing I'm kind of curious about is your style. I mean, I would call it realism. There's yeah. a lot of different types of painting. Some people paint with acrylic. Some people paint with oil, like you do. There's a few different types of styles of painting. There's realism, and then there's also impressionistic, right? Mm -hmm. Is there any other different styles that uh, we could Well, there's over? become many, and there's photorealistic. Mine, I guess you would just say, is realism. And that's probably the general category that I fall under. On his website, you will also see other paintings. And I've seen it, you know, whether it's people or animals or landscapes. I think there was one in Wyoming. I can't, I'm trying to remember which one that was. Well, I've done a couple of that. Like, there's one with buffalo. I have. Yeah, Let's yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. One of my favorite ones that he has online is about buffalo. And can you tell us a little story about that? Because that one is amazing. Well, I spent some time going through that part of the country, Yellowstone, Wyoming. And, and a couple of paintings I did, one of them was with a couple of buffalo in a field from when I went there. The country's beautiful. It's wide open and yeah, I'd like to paint more of that. It's beautiful. How long were how close were you to the buffalo? <laughs> I was in the middle of a herd. So there was a buffalo twenty feet from me. Very large one. <laughs> I can imagine I mean, we're talking a ton or more. Yeah. Do they do they when you're out in the wild and you're with buffalo, do they seem to care that you're there? They seem pretty mellow. They seem to be used to it. They were uh, on a highway, and they were, the whole herd had stopped and were grazing on this highway right around us. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But you didn't feel threatened by them by any means? No. Right, right, right. It was interesting. I, I have a, a picture of me in Scotland, and I should probably have this painted, where it just so happens that I had a T-shirt that said Scotland, and <laughs> so I was in Scotland in the Highlands, and we got off the tour bus in Inverness, not on our way to Loch Ness, I believe, and there was these giant elk, right? Oh <laughs> and I just decided to try to get a picture with this elk, and, and it, it was, I'm like, I don't know if it's going to eat my arm or whatnot, and this lady, I said, hurry up and take the picture, so I grinned, and I threw my scone on the ground, because you eat scones, it's solid, ate the scone, looked up, and then it was just looking at me, and I'm like, I got it that millisecond <laughs> shot. A lot of people thought it CGI'd, it's not, but I mean, you're really capturing this one perfect moment yeah. that you can pretty much paint anything, right? Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. What, what's the biggest canvas you painted? Oh, boy. I used to do large canvases. They were maybe six feet by five, four feet, something like that. Six feet by four feet? Yeah. What was on that six Flowers, feet? large flowers, close-ups of flowers. Okay. Yeah. And your typical paintings go from, what, eight by ten, five by seven to... Yeah, I generally tell people I like to do 16 by 20, 20 by 24 for okay. most... 90% of what I do. Hi. Hi, my name is Patrick. Welcome to La Jolla. This is Wipeout Beach. It's a beautiful spot. If you're down in La Jolla, come see me. I do oil paintings of scenes, people, animals. You can get a print for $40. A paint by number. Look at that. Uh, or uh, just enjoy the scenes and watch me paint. My website is patrickhamiltonartist.com. And you can have me paint whatever the heck you like.
hello again. This is Rick Cardinal, California. Thank you so much for watching my show. It means so much to me. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe, and I'll see you real soon.